so guys and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to my kitchen guys so guys today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very delicious pot of ekman koko so yeah ekman koko is made from water yam and koko yam and you can call it water yam slash koko yam meal and this is mostly prepared by the people from the niger delta part of nigeria mostly the ethics and the aquibomites and yes guys i'm going to show you guys how to make it and i hope you like this video and please if you do don't forget to like don't forget to send a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this meal and don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and let's dive right into this video so oh, for my recipes i'm going to be using this dry fish you guys i've already talked about how much i love using this dry fish to make my meals and i'm going to be using this habanero peppers and i have these three no seasoning and i have my one onions this cow food is already boiled already cooked so yeah i'm going to be using this then i have the palm oil i have my smoked mackerel and um I have this table salt, I have some crayfish, and I have my periwinkle. So guys, to wrap my eggplant cocoa, I'm going to be using these baby spinach leaves. Normally, I would have used kale, but traditionally, the best leaves to use is the cocoa yam leaves. But that's really difficult to find here. So, I always use kale, or I could use this baby spinach leaves. So guys, lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys the main ingredient, which is the water yam. So yeah this is the main ingredient and the reason why i have uh, some cocoa yam here is because the water yam is very very watery so i like to add cocoa yam to make it a little bit thicker and also you can actually use only cocoa yam also but if you're using only cocoa yam then you have to add some water to make it lighter because you know it just there should be a balance it needs it doesn't need to be too watery and it doesn't have to have to be very very and the first thing i do is to peel the water yam and the cocoa yam and while i'm peeling this i'm going to get a bowl of water and be putting the already peeled and sliced one into the bowl of water just because i don't want the color to change to purple so yeah i'm going to do that so after peeling this i'm going to wash it properly and make sure that it's very very clean and then the next thing is to get my grater this is my grater you guys and this is the side that i like using so i'm going to get the grater and i'll start grating this yams you know so the thing is that with this meal the process is really long the grading the grating process sorry guys the grating process and you know the process of tying it but then the end result is always always worth the weight always worth the stress you know so yeah i'm going to grate this you guys i'm not going to use all of this water yam and cocoa yam i'm going to you know share it into two and save half for another day so guys if you also have a food processor oh my goodness a food processor is just simply the best because you're not going to go through this you know grating process so yeah but if you have a blender i think uh, with the blender you will need to add water which is not very good because you end up having very watery cocoa yam and you know what i am so i'm not sure the blender is good for it so guys yeah after grating it guys after grating the next step is to mix it together to make sure that the uh, cocoa yam mixes up with the water yam very well like i'm doing so after that the next step is to add my salt so i'm going to add the salt and mix it all together just to make sure that you know it is uh, as in the, te the salt gets to every part of it and another thing that i do sometimes but i didn't do it on this particular day is that sometimes i can add maybe one of my the nut seasoning that i'm going to be using and also mix it while i'm mixing the salt but i didn't i, I didn't do it this very day you guys so guys the next step is to grease the pot that i'm going to be using to cook this food so yeah i added some palm oil in the pot and i'm using my spatula you can use your hands to grease the pot just to make sure that the water yam and cocoa yam doesn't stick to the pot once you start making it you know so yeah i'll grease the pot and then i'll set that aside and then the main step this is where the real work comes in 
The second major work in preparing this meal is in wrapping it. So, and in wrapping it, you need to be very, very patient. Um, for me, this took me like one hour, 30 minutes. So it could take time depending on the quantity you're making and you need to wash your hands and be sure that your hands are very clean. And then also you need to wash your leaves. If your, your leaves are not washed, yeah, you need to make sure that your leaves are clean. Your hands are very, very clean. This is super easy to wrap. You can see the way I'm wrapping it and you don't have to, it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to be even. It doesn't have to be equal. You wrap based on the kind of leaf you have. If you have a small leaf, then you add a little quantity. If you have a bigger leaf, you add a bigger quantity, you know? So yeah, this is how I wrap it. And after wrapping, let's do the main job, which is the cooking process. So guys, before I started prepping other things, I had already added some water in the periwinkle and just left it, soaked it in it and left it just to soften it out. So periwinkle is optional. You mustn't use it. Sometimes I don't use it at all to make this meal. So guys, first thing I'm going to do is to debone the smoked mackerel I'm going to be using. I'll debone it and then pieces them into this size, not too tiny and not big. I'll set that aside. I'm just going to add the crayfish and uh, this is about four tablespoons of crayfish. I'll add the smoked mackerel, which I've already deboned. Add my periwinkle, add the cow food. You guys saw when I showed you guys the cow food is already cooked. And then I'm going to go in with the no seasoning. And then I'm going to go with my blended peppers. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't show you guys when I was blending. So, yeah, I'm going to add the blended pepper. So, guys, the best water to add to this is your hot water. I've already boiled some hot water. And what I'm going to do is to open, like, the middle, make a little space at the middle, add some hot water. And then by this side, I'm going to add, like, very little water, very little water. Ordinarily, in some time, sometimes I could just steam it. I could just steam it but i just don't want it to get burned so i'm going to add this hot water very little and then i'll cover yeah, i'll cover and allow it to steam up for at least five to six minutes after about five to six minutes i'll open it up add my dry fish I love the aroma of this dry fish in my food and before i added it i had already soaked it in warm water so it's a bit soft and clean so the next is to add the palm oil so you add palm oil based on the quantity you like you could add very little you could add as much as you think is okay for you so the next thing and the final thing i'm going to be adding but not yet that is when i notice that it is well done and when you're stirring you have to stir it gently gently if not it's going to turn into a puri if you don't stir it gently so the last thing is to add some spinach leaves but this is optional you don't need to add but i just felt like i should add because i had some left so this is the last thing i added and this was after 45 minutes so i'll cover and just allow it to cook for at least two to three minutes and you guys this meal is done this meal is done so ready delicious aroma is so good and thank you so much guys for always tuning in always watching please like this video if you like it share send a comment what do you think about this meal and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys